In this very short movie we're going to look at techniques for working with DIN rail mounted products and it's a technique that's very similar to working with modular products. DIN rail products are available in rack layout drawings so we'll begin a new rack layout drawing and you'll notice that within the generic hardware library in the panels group there are some DIN rail panels so let's just drag one of those in and zoom in. Now, in a manner that's similar to working with modular products, there are targets which will allow the DIN rail products to mount to this panel. These targets are housed on a layer called Module Targets, and we'll just display that layer. And you'll see that there's now this green horizontal line which represents a mounting path across the length of the DIN rail. Now, this path is independent from the grid, so the first thing to do is turn off snap to grid. We don't want to snap to grid, we want to snap to a path. So make sure that snap to path is turned on. And now we can look and see that there is some DIN rail terminal block. As I just drag that on, you'll notice how quickly and easily each piece of terminal block snaps to the DIN rail. And I can align a few terminal blocks like that. Let's now look for some other DIN rail products and to make it easy to find them I'm just going to filter the product browser using the word DIN and we can see that Crestron has at least one product that's DIN rail mounted and it's the DIN AP3 so we can drag that in, snap it into place, drag in another, snap it into place. To finish the procedure first of all turn off the module targets layer and just to be on the safe side turn off snap to path, we won't need that again, and turn on snap to grid, and with snap to grid on you'll make sure that all of the future rack mounted products snap nicely to the grid. And that is how simple and quick and easy it is to work with the new features of DIN rail mounted products in Stardor Design 7.1. Thank you for watching.